to be honest, at the start of the season, I thought we were going to lose everything. Everyone told me about how much this season would suck and how we were going to suck and how we weren't going to win anything. Um, honestly, I expected we'd lose everything, which we did, but I thought we were a lot more competitive than I thought we'd be, especially when the whole team left last year, pretty much. I didn't really know what to expect. I actually, uh, I thought we had a good chance of getting China Cup. I, I wasn't sure about APAC or Holiday Tournament. In the beginning, I just didn't really know what to expect. I thought since the uh, some of the Japanese schools didn't come for a holiday, I thought we could have a shot at winning the championship, but then we ended up losing a crucial game against Faith. Well, let's start with holiday. That was the first uh, first tournament. I wasn't, I didn't expect that much out of it, just because it was we didn't have that much time to practice and all that. During that tournament, uh, we we actually yeah we actually bonded and we formed the team chemistry. So I thought that was a really good building block for our future tournaments. Yeah. Going into holiday, I think the whole team was pretty nervous. I knew that last year we had a buzzer beater loss and um, people were still dwelling on that. And I think going into the holiday tournament, not a lot of people expected much from us, just the way we played. But um, I think we played a great tournament. We had some tough games, some tough refereeing. Um, but uh, even though it was a fourth place finish, we could have been a lot better. I think we were right up there and we'd have, we could have competed for that um, number one championship. I thought we, I thought we would get first or second, actually. I thought we were gonna do pretty well. I mean, we all knew that we were coming in with a young team, so we didn't, I mean, we still expected to do well, though. As soon as we lost one game, it seemed to kind of just go on a downward slope, and uh, we never really picked back up. Oh, China Cup was a blast, because I wasn't there. came down to APAC that Jennings, damn Jennings, <laughs> hitting that shot, we would have won it. So um, I thought we were pretty close. And I don't think I don't think we should be ashamed of how our season went at all considering the circumstances. It was a it was a fun tournament. I think it was a great place to be at. I think we played well the whole whole tournament up to that last fourth I thought up to that last quarter and the fourth. Um, I think we had him but uh, we just came up short. I mean, Brent played a great game, and um, it was tough. I think um, it was a lot of a lot of um, sad faces afterwards, and some tears, because for most of us, like Jeff and Jer and Daniel and Casey, it's the last time we can play this kind of game physically and good competition. And it was tough, but you know what? It was a good second place finish, and I don't think anybody expected that as well. And we. Uh, we made ourselves proud, that's for sure. Byron Young. Byron. What was it about Byron? <laughs> everyone, everyone, uh, I think everybody loves Byron because nobody quite knows what he does ever. We gave Byron a nickname. You know, we called him Brick Young because he bricked a lot of shots. Byron was a super hard worker. I loved having him on the team. Um, he tried so hard at everything. You know, he would his he was a he was a very aggressive defender. He would attack the basket really hard. Cyrus, oh Cyrus, Cyrus is a love that kid. Uh, he's a big kid. He's got to get stronger, and if he does, um, he'll be he'll be good in the future. Cyrus is. Uh, I feel bad for Cyrus this year because. I was always the one, he was the one I sang to in practice. I would sing to him every time we were running around doing laps. He, he is really good um, basics as a post player. Just hope that um, he would try not to get injured. Daniel had a very funny accent. We call it a Daniel accent. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Crossing everyone over. That's all, that's all he did. And then he'd go for his uh, one-hand layups where half the time you'd miss and the ball would go like the other direction. 
He could dribble around me any day, put like whatever cross under my legs. I, I bonded with Daniel a lot because he's in my homeroom, so we saw a lot of each other. I'd be like, we got practice today, man. He'd be like, yeah, we got practice. And I'd be like, oh, man. And that would probably happen every single homeroom. Uh, Fergus. Star, uh, he, he's, uh, he's, uh... <laughs> Fergus is part of the goon squad, along with Oliver, and <laughs> he's a funny kid. That's goon number one. Um, kid's got no shot, he's got no game, but somehow he, he's got a good mohawk, so he gets around. He was our sharpest shooter. Kobe. The opposite of Kobe, but he considers himself Kobe. He hits the three when, well, sometimes when we don't need it, we have it, but it's okay. Actually, okay, I'll be honest. Like, as much as we all hate on him, during APAC, during the finals game, he hit two really big threes for us. Jeff is always the um, team manager because he always has all the equipment we need to use. <laughs> if I need a roller, if Jordan needs a sleeve so he can look cool, or if anyone needs anything, we go to Jeff not only for his shooting, his three-pointers, but also for his rollers, and every single brace, sleeve, shoe, or sock imaginable. Not the best dribbler, kinda has a bad shot, tends to miss a lot of shots. Not a good, no good floaters. Not a good passer. I don't really know, I don't know why he was in the, on the team, to be honest with you. Chow Chow, uh, three-point shooter. Um. He's my student. I always taught him how to play the game, how to shoot right. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, he, uh, he was our second best player for sure. He was the sharpshooter. Jeremiah, the boss. He was uh, he was he was special. He's a really hilarious player. Like, he's a he is one of the funniest guys I've ever met. Jeremiah was the defense of our team. Yeah, he was like a he was like our wall. What, on, on defense? At times he can be one of those, uh, just one of those really motivational people. Jordan is the future of everything, period. Kid's the best player in, in town. I mean, I think this kid has a D1 scholarship future. I mean, he can play real well. He's real, he's, the, he's strong, he's physical. He's mentally, he's the best on the team. He's got the best shot on the team point scorer I mean I, I think he's the young LeBron I'm not I'm not sure but no comment no dude seriously. no comment Jordan Marshall yeah just just hitting the shots when we needed especially in APAC he was on fire for like how many points like eight or nine points in a row and it really helped a lot Kendrick's Okay, 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 Ken, okay, Kendricks, okay, um. Uh, Kendricks, Kendricks definitely had the most excuses out of anybody for everything. Oh, uh, Kendricks. Oh, uh, coach, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't make China Cup. I have to house for a swim team. Coach, coach. Uh, he's always kind of clueless. He doesn't really know what's going on half the time. Uh, he was, uh, he was a really hard worker, despite his obliviousness to everything that went around him. He was a uh, great addition to the team. Well, yeah, we need him because he, he can actually draw the contact for us, you know? KZ's probably the nicest guy on the team. Great guy, he's a uh, pretty good player, but... A week before APAC, KZ developed hand foot mouth disease, um, which made him unable to attend APAC. At APAC, we lost in championships by one point, and I feel like if KZ was there, he would have helped us get at least one more stop and at least one more basket. Casey was a was a was a big leader for the team. Um, always was always kept us calm, and every every time he um, he made sure that we um, were focused. And he's always there for the rebounds, and um, I think he really would have made a difference if he was here for APAC. Uh, Lawrence. Oh, pretty much. This is uh, our team. Get the both Lawrence. And uh, you can't miss them. That's all we do. We look at Lawrence. Shrek is uh, Shrek's a big baby. 
His uh, his body is too big for his brain. He's still a child inside. Be the biggest flopper. He, he is 6'5", granted, but always working hard. I feel every rebound is his he, if he you know puts his mind to it. The one thing I wish he would have done is dunk the ball. Big man, rebounder, uh, probably led our team in everything except turnovers. Lucas, ah. Uh. Bonding with Lucas, I didn't get to bond with Lucas very much this year, which is what, something I regret. That was probably because he didn't come to any practices and, or any games, but when he did, it was pretty cool. Uh, Lucas just messed around all season. The um. thing I remember most about him is uh, him pushing this guy um, <laughs> when he was getting the inbounds and then Got this free shot. Nobody knew how that guy fell down, but uh, uh, <laughs> Lucas is a really smart player. Uh, no one would go near him because uh, they all knew that if they went near him, they'd end up getting rammed into the floor. Uh, I would have liked to bond with him over China Cup, but he didn't go because he didn't want to. Oliver, um, he's a really good player. It's a shame that he got injured most of the season. Was injured a lot all year. Oliver's got a real chip on his shoulder. Hopefully he can grow out of that, but... I think next year, if he gets his growth spurt, he'll be ready to play a lot more and hopefully by his senior year, he'll be leading the team. Oliver's like a little rebel. Good number two. I'm gonna remember Jeremiah's prep talk. We all bonded so well and really felt like a family in a way. But I think I would probably just remember like everyone making fun of each other. And then winning those games in APAC all the way to the finals, I think that's the best thing I'll remember about. And uh, I think um, pranks were great. I don't remember any specific ones, but um, funny, funny moments was when Kendrick almost killed himself. You can see Kendrick running over through a window and then suddenly out of nowhere he just collapses and disappears. Gets down on the floor, gets back up, runs in, says sorry to us for collapsing. Said, oh, sorry, coach. Sorry, sorry, I'm late. And the coach is just like, Kendricks, are you okay, Kendricks? And, um, oh, yeah, that's another thing. Kendricks. Kendricks. Uh, with an S at the end, because Lucas couldn't really figure out what anybody's names were because he never came to practice. So he called Kendrick Kendricks, and the name stuck. So now Kendrick has a nickname. It's Kendricks. Probably, like the different characters on the team. Tough games, close losses, but also the the good times, you know, the wins we had. Yeah, really, really great team this year. Um, had, a, had a lot of fun. I thought everybody was equally involved. I thought, um, I thought everybody had, yeah, a lot of fun. And I, um, I think the thing I'll remember most about this team was just hanging out with people outside of it and uh, Especially APAC, that last game, I'll remember that for a long time, even though it wasn't happy, but that was still pretty damn memorable. Real brotherhood and family, so you're gonna miss this team. Yeah. Okay, and, and uh, most improved player, uh, this goes to a kid that I thought was a senior for some reason, he must have been really mature, uh, but uh, for half the season I thought he was a senior. Anyway. <laughs> early, early in the season, we used to yell at him, just shout, you know, stop shooting, you know, why? <laughs> And uh, he, uh, he had a quick draw, he wasn't afraid to launch it at the rim. But in our championship game, he hit two three-pointers. He shut down the guys on defense. He was cool-headed. He was a great point guard directing the offense. Uh, and uh, I was thrilled to learn that you know, he's not a senior. We'll have him next year. And he's not here tonight, so I'm still, still going to yell at him. It's Fergus U. Give him a hand.